right, so I'm going to uh, collect this material uh, more quickly than I might under more favorable circumstances because it's very cold and I'm losing uh, the daylight. Gloves are tearing too. Alright, so like I said, I think we have uh, uh, eight lengths of pipe. Make sure. Yeah, I don't see any after this, uh, this final piece down here. Uh, so I will check. Let's get this out here now. Alright, so... Looks like we have a uh, fragment of a box here, maybe a lid. Uh, yeah. Yeah, look at this. Another piece here has, I don't know if you can see, have uh, hinges right here. Here and here. So I'm guessing this was part of a box. Uh, Alright, another piece of wood. Fourth piece of wood. So, uh, I'm guessing the dimensions of the box would be something like this, or something along these lines. And, you know, extrapolate that out for the uh, uh, the other two sides. So, I guess about the size of your uh, your average toolbox. All right, so that's four pieces. And um, so the copper, we have uh, two lengths right here. They, they all look to have been uh, trimmed to essentially the same length. No, take a look at this. It's the state of uh, oxidation here. Um, I don't know if you can tell, uh, the, the camera really can't focus that close up, but the, the crimped ends where I'm guessing it was, it was cut, um, they don't have as much oxidation as the rest of the pipe. Uh, it, to me it doesn't look like it's really been in the water for that long. Um, but again, I guess we could... Uh, see that's a later analysis. Oh! Uh, there are words on the pipe. They read uh, a cerro. Uh, C E R R O, that's Charlie Echo Romeo Romeo Ocean. Uh, one half inch type L made in USA. That's in, I guess, a bluish green type. Um, and there's also bluish green stripe on either side of, uh, of the words there. Yeah, it looks like this length is the same thing. Alright, we have a bent length here. Yeah, this one looks more heavily oxidized than the rest. I don't know if you can see it here in the bend. Um, and again, the, oh, here, yeah, the crimped end here looks, uh, it's fairly fresh. Um, you know, if I were just to, to speculate right off the top of my head, I would say that um, uh, the pipes probably looked like this or were in this state of oxidation when they were actually cut and stored. And uh, this, uh, container, whatever, whatever it is, um, when it um, weathered out of the ground, and 
uh, wash into the stream bed. Uh, I would say it's probably not been in there for that long. See if we can find any further downstream. Making it more difficult for myself and letting up the water here. Stirring up a lot of sediment. see any other lengths of pipe at the moment, which, to be honest, Jesus, man, if you, if you take a look at the average length of pipe, and what would seem to be the uh, length of the length of their container, I mean, at least line up two here, for instance, and then they'd be stacked. Um, of the container were, you know, had these dimensions here, then, I mean, it, it would be a, there should be a more substantial amount of pipe in the stream. I mean, if I were to guess, I'd say that the, uh, the container broke open there. Some of the pipe immediately was dumped here, and then the rest of it washed downstream. Although, if, if you notice here, I'm not sure if you can you can tell. The uh, the shoal right here uh, bends pretty far out into the stream, so I can't imagine why if, if some of the pipe was here, you know, right next to the shore. There wouldn't be more. It seems like the shoal should have collected it all. Guess it's. Again, it's only eight pieces, and that doesn't seem like enough to fill the container. I don't know why you'd bother to put only put such a small amount of pipe into a container that size. Let's see if we can't. <laughs> 